I'm Craig Dickus. I am the principal of McCook High School, uh, and I'm here today to give a, a tour of our auditorium and surrounding uh, facilities uh, so that you can get an idea of why our, our bond is needed and really will be very, very beneficial for our community. When we enter into the facility, you can tell right away that the lighting uh, is not sufficient. Uh, this is as bright as it gets in our general audience area. And so for performances, it's okay, but anytime that we wanna do a conference or a meeting in here, uh, it's really just not a functional space for any of that. Uh, in addition to that, our seating uh, is original um, and you know it's really lived past its, its usefulness. Uh, if you walk around and take a look at individual seats, there's holes in them, there are seats that don't come up, there are seats that extend past where they're supposed to, um, and it's just not comfortable to spend any amount of time sitting in these chairs. Uh, in addition to that, our HVAC system has a hard time keeping up with any type of real um, accuracy in here, and so it's not, it's pretty common for it to be either way too warm in here or too cold. Um, it's hard to get it right. Uh, our windows to the exterior are covered by blinds, uh, but they don't ever black completely anything out. And so it, it kind of messes with the feel of the place. Um, our stage is tiny. Uh, it is not big enough for us to host competitions for our conference um, or for districts. And so our kids never get to do a actual competition here in their home auditorium and so we always have to pack our sets up we always have to travel uh, and we never get the benefit of doing it to ourselves um, if you look at the sides of the stage again they are tiny to non-existent and the spaces are crammed with our audio materials um, and when we have productions going on all of the different stage sets have to be crammed there as well as the actors um, as far as our program goes, it would really be beneficial to have a space that's big enough um, to host the competitions so that the kids get that opportunity to really put their best foot forward and really show what they can do. Um, to prepare for competitions, many times um, our students have to build sets somewhere else and then be able to bring them in um, through this door right here which is actually up off the ground and really hard to access and so again in our new plans we have a, a access point right off the street that trailers can back up to that's ground level that allows people to bring materials in and out really really easily um, and then when we do build something we have to find somewhere to keep it and so all of our mechanical and costumes are crammed back into this hallway directly behind there with our shoes and our costumes uh, taking up these various rooms that are just really impossible to get to and find what you're actually looking for. You know, we know what we have back in here, but finding it is almost impossible. So as you can see, there's just a tremendous amount of challenges with our current auditorium. It's just simply not good enough to host any real competitions uh, and provide our kids with the opportunities and experiences that we really want them to have by being a part of our theater department. You know, McCook is, is a proud community when it comes to the arts. Um, and I, this facility just doesn't really live up to what our community expects and has become accustomed to and really wants. Uh, this is our drama classroom. And we have done some cosmetic updating in here with the carpet, um, but it's directly behind the stage and this big wall right here can be moved, uh, but it is a job to move that and gain access to the auditorium for our drama kids. Um, in addition to that, they have to have their storage uh, basically in a makeshift adjoining room over here for the really big props. And you know, again, it's just not easy to get to, to move around, um, or really use. So again, in our new plans, our storage spaces are well thought out. They are accessible to our, our actors. The drama classroom is going to be right next to our new auditorium, uh, and it's just going to be an absolute game changer uh, for this department and for this program. All right, next we're going to take a look at our uh, band and choir areas. Uh, they are currently very close to our drama department, which is 
okay, they share a lot of kids. Uh, but if we walk in here, this is our current choir room. And it is a nice big space, um, but it lacks any real practice areas for our kids to work on. So our teachers do a phenomenal job with whole group instruction in here. But when it comes to working on specific parts and small groups for, for the music contests and for our performances, uh, our new plan will actually have our band and choir spaces where the current auditorium is. And dividing those areas will be a series of practice rooms that will be perfect for small group practice, which will allow the main classroom to continue on working on their other items. And so, again, it'll be a, a vast improvement over what this is. Our, our band and choir groups consistently earn excellent reviews everywhere they go and just about everything they do. And so they do a great job with this. And so it's really exciting to think about what they could do if we had a space that actually allowed them to practice appropriately. This is our current band room. Um, again, it is a big open area. Uh, and the, the major improvement that we will get with with this project again is that isolated space and then the, pr the practice rooms around there and then adequate storage as you can see we've we've made do and with everything that goes along with the band program uh, but to actually have designated storage areas for band is going to help a lot in maintaining the instruments keeping them protected and increasing their longevity and so uh, you know again this this space they've done great things from here uh, but we're really excited about the idea of getting a space that actually matches the quality of the program uh, this space that we're in right now will become the library for the the new project um, and it's going to increase the space that um, we have for our library systems and again just give our, give us the chance to actually do more things out of this space as well